Um, Mr. Ahmadi, we stop by with your good news. Yes, Mr. Ahmadi, congratulations. You just won the contract of 10 million Ghana cities. Wow. Congratulations once again, Mr. Ahmadi. I know this is another elevation for your business. We're hoping to get the best from you. Absolutely. We decided to bring it to you in your home to strengthen the familiarity. Excuse me, gentlemen. Um, can I please send you something? Paulina, how dare you? Then hell, you're not supposed to be interrupting my meetings. I'm sorry. Penta. <laughs> gentlemen, I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you know women. <laughs> Is that your house, eh? No! That's my wife! My ring! He got married last two years, 14 February. It was like a Valentine's Day, you know? <laughs> your wife? Yeah! You know I'm a responsible man. <laughs> You know our women, if you're not hard on them, they tend to misbehave. <laughs> um, Mr. Ahmed, we are sorry. Unfortunately, you just lost the contract. What? Yes. If this is how you treat your wife, then your capability of handling this contract is questionable. I'm sorry. But we have to review our decision. Sit down. Only cowards treat their wife like this. I suggest you find a way and make it up to your wife. Treat her like a queen. Don't be a coward. Being a man is not about pride and intimidation. Only cowards treat their wives like that. Your woman deserves your love and maximum respect. The good book says husbands in the same way be considerate with your wives and treat them with respect. <laughs> <laughs> 